everybody yes it has been a while I guess actually a long while I have been writing vlogs down ideas let's get to at least something here because I know you guys have been wondering where I've been is that enough light from the last video um, the age gap video yes I'm doing better um, I did have to take a month off to um, bluntly speaking to get over the breakup I guess not really been depressed I've been kind of busy but hey I'm here okay you're watching my video thank you I got a bunch of topics here and we're gonna get to it and I hope this is good and you can everything set up it's been a while since I did a uh, vlog on topics I've been gone for a while every time I start doing a topic it just either I, I feel awkward about it oh really all right let's try this again shit batteries man you go to vlog and battery starts going bleep, bleep, bleep. I'm almost dead buddy also I did leave the community and I can either talk about that now or have that as a topic um, but I don't worry I just do it now whatever so I left the, I left the community so that's one of the topics that I wanted to mention and talk about and share. The community is the local community, the local BDSM kink community. Um, now, I still am vetted in the dungeons and I am considering going, um, but the uh, local meetup where it's just like out in the public kind of a thing, I'm just not gonna go there no more because too many females that I cared about are there with other people. And I just don't really care to watch them be happy in a way. Like, it's selfish, but I don't really care to see it it's like do you do you wish to see your ex all happy in a relationship that yours failed and they've been with these people for months now not really you know and and another one just completely ignores me like i don't exist when she sees me so it's kind of messed up at the same time so it's just like there's no point in me being there i can still go to the dungeons and there is a point of me being there i'll probably go on one of the days that i'm pretty sure none of the girls go and I need to learn how to do tying up anyways uh, rope skills so I, I'll probably start going um, everything's calmed down I, I, I want to start this back up and so I can start sharing my experience to the ones that want to learn so until then I'm just gonna make this video short I'm doing okay I just been keeping to myself you know I'm still who I am I try to respond to every comment or even Instagram or snapchat you know I'm pretty nice you know if you have any topics please leave them down below um, if any good ones that I haven't thought of I'll try to make it a topic I do a vlog for you guys that there's a couple of questions that I can't quite answer how do you find a Dom you can get on FetLife a good way of doing that and that's a that's another good topic I should write that down hold on how do you know if a Dom is legit on FetLife that's a good topic basically getting references and that's a whole nother thing the only way you can really do it on FetLife and it's called FetLife.com and here is the link well the URL but you know I that's that's a lot of people treat that as a hookup site so you know trusting it you can get on there and look all you want but expect bad people there's bad people everywhere how do you find a Dom in real life in public you don't you know if you want to find a daddy just have that little tendency everywhere you go if you have a, a Disney shirt or I don't know just something you know like the strip of color of hair I usually can spot the little chokers you know just something um, a lot of daddies real daddies should be outgoing and um, spoken so they will talk to you if they don't you don't want them anyways you don't want a shy daddy because a shy daddy is usually unexperienced and has no idea what they're doing or talking about they may have watched some porn and they're like oh I want to do that I just need to find a girl that is suckered or naive to you know do as I tell her to you need to watch out for those um, and that's another topic as well fake doms real doms the other topic uh, I get questioned a lot is uh, how do you make your dom happy you need to figure that out 
there's a lot of different ways you can do it and that's another topic I mean I kind of went over this before um, you just figure it out do things until you can see that your man is happy or your Dom is happy I mean come on it's not that hard so I mean that's really that's all I just wanted to say hi and um, tell you that I'm okay I'm doing all right I want to get back into this if you have any topics questions just put them down below and uh, I'll get to you as uh, fast as I can but it's usually within hours but all right well this is the fat cat and uh, you know this guy right here yeah, that's all I really wanted to say I have a lot of topics but I have to be in the mindset kind of like the Dom space to really to um, to touch that topic in a way that I'm not tripping over myself, not thinking about it, it's just coming, flowing through because once this camera's on, I don't know what it is, but I'm totally different. But if this camera's off, oh, I'm sitting here talking to you and it's just like no tripping and it's just, you know, it's it's a little different. Not really camera shy, because I'm not, it's just I want to be, I want to come correct in that mindset on that topic. So until then, I have a lot uh, to talk about just, you know, I'm here. I promise. I'll be back. Hopefully it won't take a month to put out another uh, vlog is all I'm trying to say. Cool. Did you enjoy that video? Well, if you like that video, try these videos out. That's all you gotta do. Click the video. Subscribe. The video.